Learning objectives include some definitions. What is three domain system? What is taxonomic hierarchy? And what are various methods of bacterial identification? Taxonomy is a science of classifying organisms. And this is based on their similarities. So those organisms that share similarities are grouped together. And then the study of the evolutionary history of organisms, that how they evolve from each other, is called phylogeny or systematics. Clone. Clone basically is a population of cells derived from a single cell. And during these replications, microorganisms especially, sometimes they genetically acquire different characters that uh, differ from their parents, and they are called as strains. From the time of Aristotle, living organisms were grouped into two categories, plants and animals. In 1735, Carlos Linnaeus proposed two kingdoms. He placed all organisms either into plants or animals. Microorganisms were kind of left out. So in 1859, Carl von Nageli, he put bacteria and fungi in kingdom plenty. As you know that these fungi especially um, they look like plants. Uh, they resemble physically or phenotypically like plants. So, um, based on this observation, he placed uh, bacteria and fungi in kingdom plenty. In 1866, Ernest Haeckel proposed a different name or kingdom for microbes. And he named them as protista. The kingdom protista was proposed to place these microbe, microorganisms, especially bacteria, protozoa, algae, and fungi, in kingdom protista. But then 1959, as I mentioned earlier, the fungi more look like plants. So they were again uh, proposed to be placed in... Um, their own uh, kingdom as fun fungi, uh, but later on they uh, were moved to another uh, based on their nucleus characteristics into another category. Edward Chatton in 1937 uh, introduced another term for microbes. He called them prokaryotes. Prokaryotes, as we know, these are microorganisms that do not have a very well-established nucleus. They do not have a nuclear membrane around their nuclear material. Then Robert Murray, in 1968, he proposed that all these microorganisms that do not have a well-established nucleus and what were proposed a prokaryotes, the name was proposed for them as prokaryotes, they should be placed in a different kingdom and he proposed the name of prokaryote. Robert Whittaker in 1969, uh, he proposed five kingdom system where these five different kingdoms were described, Animalia, Plantae, Fungi, Monera, and Protista. Then, as biotechnology uh, became, or the tools for biotechnology where we could analyze nucleic acid, especially ribosomal RNA, um, when a ribosomal RNA was studied, lots of differences were found. And based on ribosomal st RNA studies, Carl Woos in 1978, he proposed a three domain system rather than five kingdom system, he, he uh, proposed three domain systems. And they were archaea, bacteria, and eukarya. So in 
so prokaryotes or prokaryotes were placed or subdivided into two groups archaea and bacteria they uh, differ in various aspects we have studied already um, there are some differences in the cell wall uh, mostly in the cell wall uh, then in the habitat also of course and all organisms that have a, a well established nucleus were placed in eukarya and they include animals plants and fungi so based on this three domain system scientists um they have launched a program called all species inventory from 2001 to 2025 this is the plan that all species in the world would be classified would be categorized three domain system puts organisms into uh, three groups bacteria archaea and eukarya and eukarya they have fungi animals and plants this is another pictorials of uh, the three domain system as you can see eukarya it's a domain eukarya and bacteria is another domain and of course archaea which is not shown here is another domain so these are three domains at the top and then comes the kingdom eukarya are divided subdivided into three kingdoms animalia fungi plantae for bacteria and archaea no kingdoms have been devised or proposed and then the next category is phylum then class then order then family then genus then species so organisms that are closely resembling with each other they're at the lowest level they're put in species then many species form the genus and then many genera they combine into family and many families come combine or make an order many orders many classes make phylum or phyla and then many phyla are grouped together into a kingdom and then kingdom into domain so in summary there are three domain systems and all organisms are placed into three big domains big categories archaea bacteria and eukaryota 